All right, how's it going, Farm Family? This is Nico. And Natalie. Egypt. And who's this? Baby Pharaoh. Baby Pharaoh. And we also have, who do we have here, Mama? Thor. We have Thor. And Achilles. Achilles, Tucker. There's a lot of us here right now. Sahara's in the house playing with uh, family. They're still yeah. here in town. <laughs> um, so welcome to another video. We're so excited to have you all here. Hey, we are overwhelmed with all of the love and support that we've seen um, since our return from Oklahoma. Um, shout out to Brandon, Stephanie, and their family for the genuine friendship. Um, and another shout out to Marie from Random Oki Farms, who you're gonna to get to see in this video. She took me on a wonderful tour. But first, we wanted to update you on Thor. So, Egypt, what have you been trying to do? Yeah, she's been trying to turn him into a pet. So he slept in our house three nights, y'all. And we got to fix that. So you won't see our solution to his living quarters and his feeding uh, plan and regimen until a video next week. I'm thinking next Monday. Don't hold me to that. I want to say that's August 7th, 2023. Yeah. Okay, if you happen to be watching this video in the future. But he is outside now. Yeah. So I moved Let me him. grab him. Um, so we moved him. Well, I moved him <laughs> yesterday after we got up. Um, I moved him outside to Achilles, room. to Achilles room for now because we don't want him to become too attached and Egypt wasn't too happy about it. So she's been pouting, but he has a job to do. So we want to make sure that he doesn't get too attached to us and doesn't want to do the job that he needs to do with the girl goats. So yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm back with him. He had to potty. I saw him pottying. He was trying to potty on the concrete, so I had to I had to stop him. But um, as y'all can see, he's doing really good. He's so cute, y'all. It is tempting to keep him in the house, but like Mama just said, he has a job to do, so we got to make sure that that's what happens. Um, what do you think about all the comments, Mama, and trying to keep up with him? It's a lot. <laughs> yeah. But no, but it's it's been um, it's been good too because there's been some suggestions. And some of our newer subs will learn. We do like to read them um, because we're learning. So we appreciate when people give us feedback and say like, hey, try this instead of that. Um, Cause this is new for us. We've only been doing this for- Wanna get down? Yeah, y'all, so two years. in this video, uh, we just wanted to make sure y'all received an update um, on Thor. So I have some great footage of when um, he ate food and drank water for the first time here. I thought it was very cute. Um, Y'all got to see him meet Achilles, who is a Black Russian Terrier. He's often confused with a Bouvier or a Giant Schnauzer, but he's a Black Russian Terrier. And you'll get to see momentarily him meeting Zeus, our Irish Wolfhound, for the first time. Yeah. Um, also, after all of that, and you receive all those updates, we're going to magically reappear back in Oklahoma because Marie at Random Oki Farm, she gave me an amazing tour of her property so many animals so uh, just an amazing property y'all i think y'all are really going to like that um so that's how we're going to end this video so please stay tuned for that and be sure to give marie a follow on facebook and youtube uh what do you think mom i'm jealous <laughs> i was sad that i couldn't go but for good reasons um because i have been watching marie um just as long as nico's been watching some of the other channels because she helped me overcome my fear of Frankie, our emu, because I wasn't here whenever Frankie was a baby. So I would watch Marie to learn like, hey, this is how you interact with them. Um, so she helped me overcome that. And I learned a lot from her. Yeah. So fangirl moment, fangirl moment. But um, you're, forgetting, you're forgetting something. <laughs> so the other day we went from 9,999 to 10,000 um, and we couldn't be more excited. I almost and forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> and we've been in contact with a couple different internet companies. We're going to talk to our neighbors um, who live behind us because we have to figure out an internet solution or yeah. else we'll be going live in a parking lot, but we're not, we'll do it. Like it'll be fine. Our, our internet service isn't the best here. So we're on the waiting list for Starlink and we're trying to figure out a solution, but we are a man and woman of our word. We're really big on integrity. Um, we hit 10,000 weight earlier than we thought we would. 
Uh, just being realistic, we thought September, October at the earliest, but realistically, we were thinking 2024 after the new year, sometime next year. Um, but y'all just blew it out the water and we're so amazed and thank you so much for the love and support once again. And thank you to Brendan and Stephanie at Eddie Family Farm for the genuine friendship. Truly appreciate um, them ever since we were able to meet them at the uh, Oki Homesteading Expo. Yeah. But um, yeah, y'all, we are going to go live. We have to figure out a date and time to make sure we're not stepping on anyone else's toes. Uh, because we love to watch other people's yeah, lives as well. We um, <laughs> and we're going to figure out our internet situation because if we go live with the internet we currently have, it'd be so choppy. It, it would be a bad experience for everyone. So um, stay tuned. We will make a post on YouTube and Facebook before we go live. Um, so you have ample time to know we're going to go live on this date, this time. And we plan to answer all of your questions and just interact with everybody and we'll, we'll see how it goes. Alrighty y'all, let's go take a look and check on Thor and then we're just gonna magically reappear in Oklahoma. All right y'all, it's the next morning and you can see we are doing chores. A little bit of cleaning, sweeping, dishes, trash. The girls are cleaning, is your room clean? Yeah. You sure? <laughs> let's see if she's telling the truth y'all one two three oh okay not bad hey how you doing girl okay not bad you're washing your sheets you have some clothes to put away there's a sheet to put on the bed oh, not bad okay a little drawer action right there i can't close because i have so much clothes oh what a horrible problem we could fix that Okay, not not too bad. And a shirt right there needs to be hung. Okay, good job. Twinkle. Too smooth. All right. Well, this is what I wanted to show y'all. He is not a house dog. He is not a pet. As much as Egypt, as much as Egypt and Egypt would like him to be, you know. But we got home late last night, so he spent the night with who, Egypt? Where at? Uh, in my room. Yep. And in your bed. So we are going to set up a temporary home for him today. Still trying to figure out exactly what we want that to look like. But the sooner we could get him out there to the girls, the better. So I think I have a plan and idea. I'm going to see if we could try to execute it. That basket you see in that corner there is full of dog toys. And one of the first things he did when we came in last night is he grabbed some of the toys and started playing with them. <laughs> Look at that. So tempting, so tempting to keep him in the house as a house dog, huh? Yeah. But we're not. Look, mom said no quick. <laughs> That's funny. That's really funny. But y'all, he's very cute. He's about to eat. Want to see him eat for the first time? I think he knows that we keep his dog food in here, in this uh, crate. So he tries to get in there. Let me put that back where it goes. Hey buddy, where are you going? So we lock it on the top, we lock it on the bottom there. Egypt, do you think he likes this food? Oh, nope, you almost did it, buddy. Look. Look. Check it out, y'all. Eat it for the first time. Y'all hear Sahara's song in the back? <laughs> Look at that, y'all. First time eating at the Brown Family Farm. Is it cool? What's the puppy doing? Eating. Yeah? Is he eating a lot? I like your song. Me and Mama still cleaning Egypt on sister duties. So we got laundry. We're, this is just a cleaning day. <laughs> right, girl? This is just a cleaning day, right, buddy? Yes. Are you happy to have a puppy? Yeah, it's Egypt's. No, it's everybody's. It's for y'all. And guess where he's going to live? He's going to live with the goats. With the goats? Yeah, he's going to live with the goats. How does that make you feel, Egypt? Not happy. Why? You want him to stay in the house? Yeah. But you know he has a job to do, right? Yeah, well, why can't we do 
because we don't want him to get too attached to us. He has to get attached to his girls. Y'all, the bowl is gone. Look, the bowl is gone. Thor, you big boy. <laughs> Good job, buddy. There's Tucker. I want to make a correction on Tucker. Tucker is a Maine Coon mix. The uh, rescue, he's a rescue that we got him from, knows 100% that his mom was Maine Coon, but she feels like the reason he was dropped off is because his dad wasn't. So he's a mix, but we love him all the same. Look at those ears. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter. All right, so mama has Pharaoh. Hey, buddy. The doctor said about an hour of sunlight, so he's getting his vitamin D. Yeah, and for ah, for <laughs> Kelly's those already of you doing. Who have been following us with his journey on Tuesday? We have our first cardiologist appointment, dude. Yeah, his cardiologist he's appointment. He's three months now, so we'll see so, where we're at with, with his heart. Yeah, so if you are unaware of why we have such an appointment, hey Frankie, um, on our page on YouTube, when you go to the actual profile. The very first video is a video about our story and how we met. Um, and there's another video about the birth of Pharaoh that goes a little bit into um, his condition. All right, we just let Zeus out and Egypt is about to put down. Okay, hold on, let them meet. Let them meet, it's okay. Yeah, they're meeting. Okay, yeah, go ahead and put him down. And now they're meeting for the first time. And Zeus is off. He's like, all right, all right. You see puppy? <laughs> Look, the puppy's like, I'm out of here. And we have a lot of family in town, y'all. So those are all the cars. Look, <laughs> Thor is like, I am out of here. <laughs> Zeus living his best life, y'all. Look, he loves Esther. And I mean, he loves Esther. Watch, he's probably going to hop in there with her. <laughs> Look, he's looking for her. I don't think he's realized where she is yet. And there he goes. And Esther over here laying in the shade. She doesn't know he's in there yet. She doesn't care. <laughs> she didn't care. That's funny. You having fun, girl? All right, y'all. So we have the puppy back, but we're over here. We filled Leroy's pool. Now look at Esther, y'all. She's so big, y'all. Her daddy is a big boy, so we're not shocked at her size, but wow. Yeah. <laughs> Leroy's over here eating Leroy's to her in a house. very lazy way. He's literally sitting on his butt to get in there and eat, y'all. <laughs> lazy as a pig, they say, huh? Yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you. So we got Achilles. Look, the puppy. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Oh, well, never mind. Touch it. Oh, watch out, Egypt. <laughs> Esther's like, get out of here. <laughs> That's so cute. So, y'all have seen him meet Achilles. Y'all have seen him meet Zeus. Yeah, he's trying to get in the water, and I don't think she wants him in, in her water. And now he's met Esther. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> all right y'all we could sit here all day but i don't want this <laughs> oh no i don't want this video to be three hours long so <laughs> let's go ahead and go to oklahoma we'll have more thor and all of our babies in monday's video please enjoy this tour of maria's property how's it going farm family this is nico here and i am in oklahoma so as y'all already know got to spend some time with brendan and stephanie and now i'm right here still in davis oklahoma with marie yes. so marie has a beautiful property y'all and it's very obvious as you walk the property how much care her and her family take uh, care of these animals and i'm not even going to spoil it you'll get to see but i want to pass it over to marie so she can tell you about um her channel 
and what they do here on Random Oakey Farms. Hey y'all, I'm Marie, Random Oakey Farms. And a little bit of what we do is everything. We do a little bit hatching, raising livestock, and we also raise flowers, rhizomes that we sell off our farm. And now we're incorporating YouTube with it to share yeah. it with y'all. Yeah. And we love it. Mm -hmm. And getting to meet new people. Right. Yeah, and share common interests and have the same goals. Yeah, so mm -hmm. Marie and I actually met at the Oki Homesteading Expo. Mm -hmm. So a little plug there. Yes. Go ahead and take a look at your calendars for the spring next March. This is what can happen there. You yes. get to meet new friends. You get to meet amazing people. And ever since then, we've been in communication and she's been kind enough to um, allow me to stay on this beautiful <laughs> farm during this stay, which, which I truly appreciate. We're happy um, to have you here. Thank you, thank mm -hmm. you. So. Yeah, let's let's take a story. Yeah. Uh, let's take a tour. Let's show them around. Okay, um, well, all the things you have going. We can start off with Spike and Jasmine. <laughs> That's Spike. <laughs> uh, he's he, he's silly. <laughs> and this is Jasmine. Okay. These are some of our miniature horses, and we have Ponette and her filly. So what what's What's the importance on your farm? And there may be some more around. Yeah, I see some over there. Yeah. What's the importance of the uh, mini ponies on your farm? What do you do with them? I, they're more pets, honestly, now than anything. I originally nice. got into them when I was uh, pregnant with Shelby. Okay. And I got really sick and couldn't come outside very much. And my late husband got me a miniature horse. Actually, he got me four. And I started messing with them and training them, mm -hmm. and our neighbors kept on trying to buy them for themselves and their kids. Mm -hmm. And I finally sold them, okay. and then I bought more miniature horses, and a hobby and a passion just turned into a business. And uh, so they just, I guess you'd say, bring happiness, and I really like driving them. Yeah, driving them's a lot of fun. Oh, we should do that later. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a video of you yeah. driving them. Already also, we are in the next pasture over and there's a lot of be beautiful mini ponies and some other surprises in here that you're gonna get to see. And just wanna plug that what Marie and her family do um, with their breeding program here for the mini ponies, um, is it's an amazing program. You can tell here on the property, they have their best life ever. And whenever it's time to sell them, the person that's buying has no doubt that they're getting the best version of a mini pony that they can. And she's trusted here in Oklahoma. They'll ask, where did this, where did this mini pony come from? Or where did this uh, emu that you'll get to see later? Are you the one that brought this? Are you the one that raised it? She's very trusted here. And you'll get to see these babies and, and how much care they take. So here's one of them. She's not a miniature horse, but this is Candy Cane. Um, she's a standard donkey. She is actually a personal pet. I don't have very many personal pets. Um, most of our animals do have to bring an income to the farm because it is a farm, not a hobby farm. And uh, this is Candy Cane's baby. This is Peppermint. He is a Z-donk. His dad is a zebra and his mom is a donkey. And he is a lot of fun and a, gonna be an experience. <laughs> that, cause he, that wild zebra, cause you get this loving donkey part of him, which is awesome. And, and how old? He is a couple months. A couple months yeah, old. Yeah, and dog. he is bigger than all my miniature horses. Look and at the he's beautiful just a stripes. baby. Yeah. I know, it's just so beautiful. They're a lot of That's fun. That's such a beautiful animal. Yeah, we, I've, I haven't ever seen one in person that was striped mm -hmm. this well. Yeah. So yeah, yeah it was it's really very apparent what he's mm -hmm. mixed with. So. That's awesome. <laughs> well, come meet the rest of the gang. <laughs> so this is Strawberry. I actually um, had her twice. Mm -hmm. So when we used to, we don't buy and sell as much as we used to, but when we did sell horses if they didn't work out in the home that they went to we would always try and buy them back okay. 
and so Strawberry. She is one of the miniature horses that we bought back and we've had her forever. We love her. Yes. And this is Dash. She's a few spot. And also this little mare, she is a few spot as well. So with Appaloosas, the few spots is how you get the leopards. Oh, wow. Yes. So these, it, you get a higher percentage. Okay. So the fewer the spots on them, the more likely you are to get more spots. To get more spots. Wow, you would think it's the other way around. Yeah, That's really cool. So a lot of people will breed to a really flashy stud uh -huh. when they should be breeding to a few spot to get the flashy colors. It just increases your odds. Gotcha. And this is Dot. This is Jasmine's mom, the buckskin Appaloosa. And she's also one of my driving ponies. We just weaned her. Huh. she's sweet. <laughs> She's an older mare and she is a lot of fun. And this is Roni Pony. Wow. Starlight got her, her hair did. Yes, but again, this, which one is this? Roni one? Pony. This Roni. is who we'll, we'll drive wow. later. This, that's. Her hair is beautiful. Yes. How often do you brush it or a lot. Do you try to brush it? Whenever she wants attention. So, one thing that, like with dyeing their mane uh -huh. or anything it depends on the animal if okay. they really enjoy the attention because right. I have some right. that just like people you know some people like uh, getting their hair done and like you know getting a massage and all that and then others don't yeah um, same thing with animals yeah. well her hair her yeah. mane tail it's all beautiful hers gets brushed a lot because yeah. the girls come and brush their hair and love to fix it <laughs> The donkeys love the attention the most. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. I know on um, most most of us that have donkeys, a lot of times they're the, our most loving pets on, on, our, mm -hmm. on our homestead or farms. So, yes. Yeah, without a doubt. So one thing that I do to mine, this is um, a massage that I know mm -hmm. that they really like. It's right this the, okay. going back and forth. See? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so this is what I do. Um, yeah, come out and tell them how wonderful they are, but they just love it. Yeah. And so this is Ozzy. He, um, so I used to hatch on halves a okay. lot. Well, I still do. And one of the people that I hatched on halves was ostriches. That's how I started getting into ostrich chicks. Okay. And then my friend, Dr. Green, she was selling her trio. Ozzy, Sharon, and Karen have been here ever since. Ozzy, Sharon, and Karen. Yes. <laughs> so wow. Ozzy's the male. Okay. And I have to look at their heads. That is Sharon, and that's Karen. Sharon and Karen. So I'm probably the... <laughs> Sharon very... on the left, Karen on the right. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So we feed them layer mm -hmm. and all stock. Layer and all stock. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then they have the pasture as well and mm -hmm. just any kind of treats. Okay. I think that noise is really interesting. Oh, it's his neck hitting. Yeah. Hey, handsome. Isn't that cool. All right, y'all, check this out. <laughs> Now you've seen this before because <laughs> Carl over at Longhorn Lester's does this all the time and it's a mating thing, right Marie? Yes. Okay. Yep. So saying you're pretty. <laughs> yeah. So if I, I'm gonna put my mic closer here. Can you hear that? Yeah. So it's so neat. As his neck hits his body, it actually makes a, a noise, and it's really cool, y'all. <laughs> is he considered, based on his age, full grown? Yeah, or? he's full grown. So he is a full grown mm -hmm. He's a red. rooster. Mm -hmm. And I just learned that, y'all. He's I a full grown he's... rooster, or oh. male ostrich. And uh, yeah, that's how he shows off for the ladies. Y'all, I'm wearing my Frankie shirt. <laughs> wearing my Frankie shirt. Um, and I hear drumming. So that lets me know there must be a female emu around here. And there she is. <laughs> and, and that's not Frankie, y'all. Looks like her, but that's not Frankie. Um, so 
female's drum, mm-hmm. and that's how you can tell the difference between a male and a female. You can send feathers off and all that, but as y'all know, we didn't do that. We wanted to wait to see if we would either have drumming or not, and that's how we found out Frankie was a girl. That loud drumming that you just heard and you've heard in some of our other videos. We um, vent sex them when they're little. Okay. You yeah. can do that. Mm-hmm. But when they're older, I tell them with the drumming and then the tail. Once okay. you see it, well, he doesn't have a very pretty tail, but they almost have like how a rooster has a comb. Yeah. Like the that arch. And are females bigger or? She's older. Okay. So okay. see his tail. Yeah. This is a younger male. Like you see how it's it poofs out. out. Yeah. yeah. And his tail is kind of funky, but otherwise it'd be like this big poof on the like back. Bush behind me. I love the drumming. Yeah. Oh, me too. We were so, we were so elated when we uh, <laughs> discovered she was a female through her drumming, because that's what we wanted. People that's say so that cool. the females are mean, and I think it's because of just how some social media oh, pages okay. choose to show them. Mm-hmm. But our female is super sweet. Oh, I love them. Yeah, our, our female is super sweet, so. Yeah. So ours is very, very nice, but we raised mm-hmm. her as a chick. Like yeah. we got her, she was, I think we got her at six weeks old and we just followed, we did all of our research first yes. of all. Always do your research, everyone. Don't just mm-hmm. hop into animals. I say that all the time, but because of that, we didn't have any issues. The feed was right, no leg problems, any of that. And she's just so sweet, even with the kids. Oh, they're so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. They are so different than I ever thought an animal would be. Oh, that's a sweet spot. Found it. <laughs> that's awesome. That's funny. <laughs> I like it. I like it. That I think that's the animal that I've been most shocked by on our homestead. Mm-hmm. We always wanted goats, but I'm surprised at how much we all have fallen in love with them. Yes um they've just really grown on us so we we love having them out there on on the homestead and um i know that they've done their job here too right yes so so what is your plan with with your with your goats so the re- well actually you can kind of see over here mm-hmm. so our whole property was like covered in brambles mm-hmm. and this is after years and like a little bit of remnants so they've came and ate a lot of these brambles, like this whole thing. How it was, how it's still like just dirt is mm-hmm. because it was just brambles. Okay. So now we're gonna just keep a couple and let them kind of run around as pets. And honestly, it's nice with Brandon down the road that, mm-hmm. you know, I can borrow the goats back to come through and just strip yeah. and clean it up. Yeah. And that's really nice. Okay. So what she's referring to, y'all, in the video that you saw on Monday, um, remember I was at Eddie Family Farm, and a lot of those goats you'll be able to see when you go to Eddie Family Farm and subscribe that he just got more goats, and those goats came from Marie. Yes. You'll be able to see that in his video, and he's right up the road. So if she needs to clear them back out, yes. those, those great goats and the great genetics, they're, they're right up the road. Well, and it's also nice since he has a bigger herd than I do mm-hmm. that you can strip faster. Oh yeah. Just and mob graze. Yes. The mob grazing once you in it, it's farming so neat. It is. All right. Like the yeah. little, the little things that you learn and right. even with animal behavior, yeah. how you can use the right animal to get rid of the right problem right but yeah, it's yeah, figuring absolutely. out the yeah. the fine line <laughs> now some some people might uh think i'm in florida right now <laughs> that's not an alligator that, that's not an alligator y'all yeah that's been going into the pond it's a pig <laughs> that's a pig <laughs> yeah but it but you could mistake that for an alligator going in and out of this pond really that's what there. you look yeah when you see this on the banks oh my just goodness just like that now obviously it would be smooth yeah because of their stomachs right yeah. It'd be smooth, but they just slide into the water. Have you ever been had an alligator experience like close? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Not in Florida, but in Louisiana. Really? Yeah, in Louisiana. We're up here towards the front of the property, and this is an area that outside of the animals, right? Many of you love gardens. Many of you love flowers, and um, especially flower farms. 
and Marie has that. I'm telling y'all, she has everything on this property, y'all. So, Marie, tell us about your iris, um, how you got into it, and what your future plans are. Okay. All right. So, how I got into iris was it was the only thing I could grow without killing it. <laughs> <laughs> That's and good. yeah, no, yeah. really, it was. And at first, I thought there was just purple, white, yellow. Mm -hmm. There's over 80,000 oh, wow. named varieties of iris. I never knew there were so many cool ones. Mm -hmm. uh, I got more and more into it and started collecting iris. My goal was to get this whole fence line done with iris, just to have something beautiful for the neighbors when it was in bloom. Yeah. COVID happened and shut down our actual business. Mm. So started selling my iris because yeah. you know you had to pay the bills. And it winded up being okay. I took that money and I reinvested it into iris. Okay. And then I've just been reinvesting and reinvesting okay. into iris and hoping to create something wonderful for our community yeah. and for our family and something to pass on. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, y'all. So I'm pretty sure over mm -hmm. over us uh, speaking, uh, I'm I'm showing you footage of what the uh, fields look like in bloom, um, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, and you're you're an active member of this community, right? Yes. So you're part of uh, some committees, um, committees or groups. Oklahoma. Or... I'm part of the Oklahoma Iris Society, mm -hmm. and actually, we are trying to get on the 2027 iris convention nice. tour so like if we could get on it it would be really cool <laughs> that would be yeah, yeah. and uh, it's exciting and i'm super thankful to get to share it with you mm -hmm. and share it with the world yeah and and when they're in bloom i live in florida mm -hmm. but if i want to enjoy the beautiful flowers that you're blooming here mm -hmm. how, how could i how could i be involved in have a vase on my kitchen table. Is that a thing? Yeah. Yeah. How can, how can uh, I do that? Yep. You have to have an iris. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> have to there have an go. iris. Yep. And pick your favorite one. Yeah. And then you'll have that bloom mm -hmm. in your house. And one thing that's really cool is when an iris is getting ready to open, yeah. you can actually force it to open all at once. Oh, if wow. you put it in um, warm to hot mm -hmm. water, it forces them where you can literally just watch the the bloom open okay. it's really neat okay so where where don't you ship so we could get that out the way um we don't we ship to lower 48. lower 48 yes. so hey i'm gonna have a vase <laughs> come time on the dining room table yeah I'm, you, you gotta come <laughs> pick out some pick iris it myself but if you can't make the trip to oklahoma she does ship yes so stay tuned Please remember to follow Random Oaky Farms. It's on her shirt right here. <laughs> um, and when these are in bloom, you can have some sent straight to you. But Marie, I really have enjoyed your beautiful property, your family, your animals. Um, thank you for your hospitality. Oh, yeah. Uh, Southern I've hospitality, y'all. So much fun. Yeah. I can't wait to get to have your wife and oh, yeah. your kids that was so nice mm -hmm. getting to meet and her. And we can't wait to yes. return the favor to you and your family yeah. and Brandon and his family and and uh, have y'all come on down to Florida. But um, once again, thank you. Yes. And please y'all remember to give Random Oaky Farms a shout on, on um, Facebook and YouTube and drop her a comment down below when you go visit her page and subscribe uh, drop some flowers in there. Is there an iris oh, emoji? I don't know if there's an iris emoji. Just drop emoji. some flowers. Yeah, that would be cool. Drop some mm -hmm. flowers okay, in the I comments. Okay, I know they have sunflower emojis. They have sunflower yeah. emojis. She <laughs> has some sunflowers too, y'all. Yeah. There's just so much. It'll be a three-hour video, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I know many of you love the longer videos, but, we, you know, I want to preserve your... So her, her <laughs> husband, William, hasn't been able uh, to be here to be in this video, um, but he's right here side by side with her along with her mm -hmm. kids and... And y'all check it out. Check it out. She could show you better than I could tell you. So once again, thank you. Thank you. And I'm sure we'll it's be in Oklahoma again soon. Yes. Awesome.